I'm Mr. Ward, and today we're going to make a presentation. Before you begin, we'll need a couple things. First, make a list of five items. The first one, the title of your presentation. Next, you'll need three facts about your topic. And lastly, where you got your information. You'll also need four photos. One of my favorite places to get free high quality images that are licensed under CC0, that's Creative Commons, where no attribution is required, is Pixabay. All of these images can be used free of charge and without having to attribute the author. You'll notice there's sponsored images along the top row. The free ones are down below. And we'll do. Click on the free download button. You can select different sizes. For my purpose, I just need a small one. Click download. I'm going to select to save the file. And now it's been downloaded. I can open the containing folder and move it to my student folder. Another great source for photos that don't need attribution is Unsplash. To start a new presentation, click File, go to New, and click on Presentation. We're going to start with an empty presentation. There are templates available, but I find it's best to start with a blank one. Yeesh, the 90s called. They want their templates back. Let's start with a blank one instead. You can select different backgrounds, but let's skip this as well. Click on the Create button. Let's start by adding the title. Let's bold that title. Now let's insert our background. Click on Insert, go to Picture, and select From File. Select the image you want to insert. Let's resize the image to match the size of the slide that we're working on. Now right now it's on top of the text. Let's move it back. At the very bottom, you'll notice a toolbar. Look for this box that says Arrange when you hover on it. This allows you to move an item to the front, move it forward one, move it backward one, or send all the way to the back. That's what we want. Let's adjust the placement of our name. And let's move the title. You'll notice I want a light background for dark text. That looks great. Let's go to our next slide. Click on Insert and select Slide. Let's get rid of this text box. Another easy way to insert a photo is to simply drag it to your presentation. Again, let's resize. Uh-oh, 
I've squished my image. To avoid that, hold down the shift key while moving. And let's send to back. This text is really hard to read. Let's change the color. Let's also change the size of the box. For minor adjustments, use your arrow keys to move the text box up and down, left or right. You can also duplicate a slide. For our last slide, we want to give it a little more information. Right click on the background, go to slide, and click on page setup. Select the background tab and change fill to gradient. The best one in here is linear blue to white. Select that and click OK. You do not want to apply this to all of your other slides, so click no. That looks great. Now let's test it. To view your slideshow, click on slideshow and come down to slideshow. You'll notice that F5 is the hotkey. Remember this because you'll use it often. Uh oh, we have a problem here. Hit the escape key on your keyboard. Now let's adjust the text to match. Hit the F5 key, and that looks pretty good. You'll notice we still have some readability issues here. So applying a drop shadow to this text will help it stand out just a little bit more. That looks better. I think the text is a little close to the dog, but I like that he's looking at it. Using the arrow keys, we'll move it just a little further away. Press S5 to make sure it's not too far.
Let's make sure we save all this hard work. Click on File, click on Save, and title it with the name of your presentation. Click Save. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. Please like and subscribe to help others find this video. Remember, we don't say I can't, we say I haven't. I'm Mr. Ward. Keep reading.